Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and me and my son Nathan, we've traveled to the Arctic and for the next four days, we're gonna be catching enormous crabs through the ice, hunting ptarmigan, eating amazing food, ice fishing, dog sledding, meeting native craftsmen, and having a great time. Welcome to Nome, Alaska. guys welcome to Nome we're staying here at the dredge 7 Inn, and we've rented a snow machine and a truck you ready to go get some lunch yeah. 3,700 people live here in Nome it's one of our bigger cities here in Alaska and it's the largest city on the Seward Peninsula hey Nathan do you know how Nome got its name when they first drew the map of Nome, they didn't have a name for the city yet. So they just wrote the word name and they wrote the A sloppy and it looked like an O and everyone thought the name was Nome. We're gonna do a little ice fishing on this trip. So uh, we're gonna get some fishing tackle. Oh, look at that. Go and jig them really aggressive. Just jig them. Yeah, what do you think, is that cool? Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you. All right, we got some fishing gear. Nome's famous for a number of things. One, the gold rush, and two, the Iditarod race. And this right here is the finish of the Iditarod. Dog teams from around the world race all the way from Anchorage here to Nome, and that's the finish line. 1,049 miles, it's crazy. One of the major gold rushes here in Alaska happened here in Nome. So you'll see a lot of gold mining stuff around town, including the world's largest gold pan. Hey, check it out, Nathan, they've got Umiaks. People still use this type of boat to hunt whales here in northern Alaska. Amazing. Part I find fascinating is how they're made out of wood. And in case you didn't notice, there are no trees around here. Traditionally, a lot of the wood came from driftwood that they would just find on the shore. We're gonna go try airport pizza here, get some lunch. Oh, they have cheese fries, they have ramen. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> we got a little bit of time to kill here in our first day, so we're gonna go check out the museum. We're gonna get Nathan edumacated. What? You know, edumacation. It's important. See the little rain jackets? They make them from seal guts. Oh, you get the walrus tusks. So back in 1925, there was a diphtheria outbreak here in Nome, and they had to get a bunch of medicine from Anchorage all the way to Nome, and sled dogs like Fritz here took that medicine the 1,000 miles all the way to Nome, saved a bunch of lives. So the Iditarod race is kind of a celebration, recreation of that. When the gold rush happened, Nome became one of those Wild West gold rush towns. The place was hopping. Fish spear, that's a halibut hook. Nathan, you want to do a little ice fishing? Oh See all these boats? Those are gold dredges right there. There's fine gold all over the beaches of Nome. And so people go out in the shallow parts of the ocean and suck up the sand on the bottom and filter out the gold. What are you eating? Two of them? All right, this is the small boat harbor. We're going to try to fish for tom cod. I don't know how thick the ice is, but it's probably several feet thick. But that doesn't mean that there's not overflow. Overflow is when water pools on top of the ice. And so you can have really deep water on top of ice. This right spot right here is where some overflow was. Look at this. See right there? So you don't want to step in that and get wet. You can see two sticks in the snow over there. My guess is that's where somebody's spot is. We're going to go check that out. Let's 
See, there's a little bit of styrofoam right there. You put it over the hole to keep it from freezing. Try not to bust up the styrofoam with my axe. All right, so you see there's the hole. Not gonna be able to cut that open with the ax. That hole is too old. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. That hole is probably just as old. Well, we rented a snow machine from the people here at Dredge 7, so we're gonna go out and explore a little. I brought the 22 just in case we see some ptarmigan. Oh. Right now, I'm on the beaches of Nome. This big sheet of ice in front of me is the frozen Bering Sea. These right here are gold dredges. Well, me and Nathan made it up in the mountains. We're looking around for some target, but visibility is not the greatest. But I just got a text message from somebody who's got an auger who says they can meet us at the harbor and drill some holes for us to do some ice fishing. So I think we might give up on this and uh, go do a little more ice fishing. Oh, hey. Oh, thank you. Hey, thanks guys. I appreciate it. Those are the guys that augered the holes for us and they're headed out to go check some king crab pots that they've got set out under the ice out on the ocean 15 miles out. And they said they'd take us out tomorrow to go catch king crab. I think we need to catch some bait first. Should we get some crab bait? Yeah. Gonna get out our Tomcod rigs. All right. All right, there you go. That's the bottom right there. It's probably about 20 feet. Would you like to sit on the snow machine while you do it? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay, See, the little beads attract the tomcod, and then you go and you, you jerk it up and it snags them. Oh ho! Oh ho! There we go! Oh, there's another one. So these two little fish right here, they're called tomcod. They don't get much bigger than this. They're just a tiny little fish, and they're really common here in the northern oceans of Alaska. And they make good bait. So I'm standing on frozen salt water. The ice here is over three feet thick. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got one. Pull him up. Oh, he came off. Put the snow machine there so it blocks the wind, and makes it a little bit warmer. And if he gets tired, he has a seat. You get one? Huh? Good job. Cool. Well, very cool. There we go. There you go. Oh, yes. There you go. Oh, I think that's the longest one of the day, Nathan. Yes, look at the biggest one. Oh, that's another good size one. No, we just need to do it. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're a little something different. But they're also good bait. All right, cover the hole up with snow and hopefully tomorrow if we want to do more fishing we can pop it out with the axe. It's uh, end of March right now so the sun doesn't set till 9 40 p.m. It's already past 8 o'clock. Ready for some pizza? <laughs> oh. Well, despite it being so light outside, we got to get to bed. We've got a lot to do tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning.
I love being in these small communities. People can leave their four wheelers running outside, no one's gonna steal it. Leave their truck running with the keys in it, no one's gonna steal it. All right, we're gonna go get some breakfast and everyone's telling me I should go to Pingo's. Good? Yeah, just right here. See right there, you got the menu. You got stuffed waffles. Oh my goodness. Stuffed sausage? That's nice. Mm. Uh, all right, Nate, should we go try to get some ptarmigan? Came over this hill and nearly ran over 12 ptarmigan. Can you hear them? Whole bunch of us. See, they're gonna cross up there. We're off to a good start. We saw some ptarmigan, but oh, they're hard to see in this weather. Oh, there. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch more over there. Oh, there they are. See what I see right there? Yes. That's a much easier shot. Come out. There, I can see his head barely. There's one up there. We saw over a hundred birds, but we're only able to get shots off at three of them. It's hard to see the ones that are sitting still. And the ones that are moving are hard, hard to hit. If we had strong sunlight, we would have been able to shoot a lot more, I bet. Oh, we ran out of road. Driving along and all of a sudden, there's no more road maintenance. There's just snow on the road. Got myself in the snow a little bit deep. We can see if we can back out. Yeah, we're high centered. This is the road, and I'm just driving along, and all of a sudden it gets really deep, and it was really hard to see. Oh, I don't have any shovels or tow ropes. There was a house just down the road here. I'm gonna go see if we can get some tow straps and maybe some help. All right. Got out. Whew. <laughs> we uh, pushed a lot of snow to do that. I'm so glad he was able to help me. I think maybe we should turn around. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the sun's come out and it's actually really good visibility now. This is one of the historic gold dredges. These dredges would float in the shallow water and they would just scoop up massive amounts of sand, then process the gold out of it, then spit the sand out the back end. These are gold dredge buckets, dozens of them on the front of the machine, and it just goes like a chainsaw into the ground. Well, Nathan, would you like to go to a preschool and meet some kids? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna leave my knife in here. Probably shouldn't bring that into the school. <laughs> Hello. All right, thank you. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> See ya. Thank you. The local people here have been so generous with their time and showing us their community. A few of them asked if we could come to their preschool because the little kids wanted to meet the outdoor boys. So I figured the least I could do was come and say hi. Save these chunks for later. It's good. Thick it is. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's not thick at all. The snow did the trick. You want to use the, the ice fishing rod? Sure. Oh, hey, look, I got one already. Look at that. Yeah, I think this one might work really well. It's, fight, it's, fight, it's fighting. Yep. There you go. There we go. Hey, there's another one. Look at that. That is such a pretty little fish. Oh, nice time cut. Oh, whoa, there we go. All 
Alright, we got plenty of tom cods for bait. This is the Nome Visitor Center. It's a great resource if you're trying to do the things I'm doing here in Nome. Hi! Hey, hey Drew. <laughs> There's yeah, a, there's the muskox. There's yeah. the muskox. There's the name uh, Umingimak. This is the muskox wool. Yeah, so this stuff is hundred plus dollars an ounce spun into wool. Do you feel the heat? Oh. <laughs> Drew's been very kind and offered to take me along when he go pull some crab pots. So, would you want to go catch some king crab? You guys got everything you need? This is your crabs from yesterday? Yes, yeah. Woohoo! Oh yeah, there's some big boys in there. This is one of the few places in the state where there's still crab fishing. Down in Dutch Harbor in that area, all the fleet is shut down because of poor numbers. This is also one of the few places in the state where you can catch king crab with a sport fishing license. You can go get yourself a pot, cut a hole in the ice, and you can go for it. Make it sound so easy. Yep. <laughs> Gosh, it didn't make it that far. <laughs> Hey guys, we're here on the frozen Bering Sea. If you head that way, the next bit of land is Russia. And underneath about a foot of ice, there's a crab pot. Yep. A lot more crab than last yeah. There's a couple more. It is solid. And so you got what, 50 feet? Is yeah, that? 50 foot of rope. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a nice like one. Look at that. That is a nice king crab. That's a blue one, isn't it? No, they're red king crab. That's a red? And they got to be five inches across. Is that the. Four, yeah, four and three quarter. Four and three quarter. Is that oh, what? You want? Oh, yeah. Hey, hey Nathan. Look. Look at that. All right, he'll put him in here before he freezes up. There you go. I don't mean to brag, but uh, there's a pile of tomcod. Yep. Oh good, nice and thawed. Alright, so there's the tomcod we caught. We're turning cheap seafood into expensive seafood. Here's some rope or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> now watch your feet. <laughs> This one was the monster hole. Bunch of starfish this Oh, look at this. Yes, Holy cow, look. That's a ball of starfish. Oh, yeah, yeah, she got her eggs. Get her back in quick. That looks like a decent one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, they're not popular around here. Snow machine. Yeah. Right now in Anchorage, king crab's about $55 a pound. So these crabs are about three pounds each. So you're looking at about, oh, what, 170 bucks per crab? The local gnome price is about 25 bucks for one crab. That's a good deal. There we go. There was hung. There we go. Oh, There's our shrimp. Oh, there's a little shrimp. There you go. Look at that little shrimp came up for the ride. Oh, well, that's a nice one. Barnacle on that guy, yep. That's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Big old, big old jellyfish right big there. Old oh, that thing's huge. Uh-huh. A tiny little baby starfish floating down. Ooh. All starfish. There was only one crab between two pots, so you can go ahead and move spots. So I Some sort of anime character with your overly huge sword there. <laughs> All the way down. Like a glove. And I don't know how you guys feel about okay. okay Hey, there we go. Big, big yeah. crab, baby. 
Ooh, yeah. Pretty good size. Yeah, look at that. That is a beautiful oh, one. Two, yeah, look at those. Man. Oh, it's heavy too. Good. It's so easy to forget that we're standing on frozen salt water. So that right there, guys, is the Bering Sea. There you go. The ocean currents and tides break the ice up and shift it around a lot. It's really easy to be on a big solid piece of ice like this and to break off and drift away and you be stranded on it. I was, yeah, I was gifted to us. Thank you, you so much, it, guys. <laughs> those guys are so nice to let me tag along. Drew said he was going to go cook up one of those crab for me. Feels good to get some warm food in me. I'm cold. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Thank you. So here, that's as fresh as it gets. Oh, hey, thank you, Drew. Uh, that was so nice of him. Claw. You're kind of spiky, huh? Here. You're gonna pull it out and get all this tendon, see? Bend this joint backwards. What do you think of that? Mmm. King crab is amazing. It's got the sweetest, cleanest tasting meat of any crab I've ever eaten, and there's just so much of it. Just the meat out of one leg segment is more than like several Maryland blue crabs. Look at that. Look at that chunk of body meat. It's huge. Ooh, I need to go wash my hands. Oh, that was the best crab I've ever had. That was really good. Well, it's getting late, but there's one more thing I want to do. I want to go buy an Ulu knife. Do you want to take the truck or the snow machine? Snow machine. Oh, oh, hi. She just barks. <laughs> My crab. Look at a couple. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. Look at These that. Ones, oh, that's I nice. Buy, I just buy exotic wood and acrylic. These ones are stainless, and mm -hmm. this is a saw blade, yeah, saw that one's saw. This is the one that my friend Willie Hogendorn makes. So these, these right here, these are Ulu knives, traditional native Alaska knife. Well, thank you very much, Wilson, I appreciate it. No problem. Hey, Nathan, where you at? Bought a beautiful handmade Ulu knife. So excited to use this thing. And they gave me a bunch of ground muskox meat. I'm gonna make burgers out of this, it's gonna be great. Oh, it's been another lovely day, but I am tired and sore. I'm gonna take some Advil, go to bed, and I'll see you guys bright and early. Well, good morning. Nathan, shall we get some breakfast? Yeah. All right. Stopping every once in a while and listening. We can hear some and they're way out there though. Oh, got one. Here. Okay, come over here. Hey, look at this, there's some fox tracks. There you go. And there we go, look at this. We got two of them. Well, we snow machine patched where we got stuck the other day and we're off to a great start. I think we're gonna get a bunch, Nathan. There's a big moose up on that hillside up there. One, two, three, four, five, six moose right here. See, that's a mama moose with a calf right there. See how her hair on the back of her neck is up and her ears are back? It means she's angry. But she doesn't like us. She thinks we're gonna hurt her baby, so let's get out of here. This old cabin with a couple graves out front. See the crosses? 
can see him right there. You see him? He's still standing right there. Oh, see the ones in the tree. Start shooting. Yeah, they'll let you shoot a lot with the 22. See, hold still. My kill. That's yours, buddy. There you go. And Ethan, high, high five. Oh, here's the one I got. Uh, yeah, we did it. Huh? Good job, buddy. A shotgun and a 22 are a deadly combo with hunting ptarmigan. If you see them on the ground, the guy with the 22 scope can try to pick them off. And if they start to fly, the shotgun can get them. All right, our bags are getting full. Oh, the weather turned out so much better than expected. But uh, we're kind of high up in the mountains now and we're just not seeing as many ptarmigan or ptarmigan tracks. So I think we might turn around and go back down into the valley. Something happened to our snow machine, the reverse jammed. You hit reverse and nothing happens. It says it's in reverse, but it's still going forward. And it's just making this annoying beeping sound. I don't know what to do about it, but... Yeah, that got him. Just do more up there. There you go, buddy. Hey, you grab the feet? All right. But, uh, barrel. Uh, so Nathan's barrel got stuck in the snow. You've got to get that cleared out. If you try to shoot a gun that has ice and snow or mud in the barrel, it can cause the barrel to explode. All right, I think we're good. Open. See him? He's moving. Oh, when there are these huge flocks of like a hundred, as soon as one takes off, they're all take off. So it's hard to get close. Yeah. All right. Oh, that was a little to the left. More towards me. Fuck this. Don't be sad though, like, uh, one of my... See, there's one right there. Sure enough. It's another enormous flock. The firing pin on my shotgun's wearing down. I've had it twice now where the bullets wouldn't go off because the pin isn't hitting the primer hard enough. Oh yeah, you're right, Nathan. There's just gobs of them up there. Yeah, there we go, got another one. This is actually the Alaska State bird. This is a willow ptarmigan. This bird is brown in the summertime and then in the winter it changes to white. See, it's got feathers on its toes to protect it from the cold. There we go. Got two of them. That's my hat. Hey, what? Hey, buddy, did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> well, we ran out of time, but uh, I need to clean some birds real quick. Oh. Holy mackerel, we got nine birds. So this right here is what's inside all the ptarmigan. These are the tips of the willow trees. That's what they eat. That's how they survive in the winter time. Quite the bag of ptarmigan meat. What are you doing out here? The reindeer. What are you doing out of your pen? Reindeer are a domesticated caribou. About 18 miles on a snow machine. Whew, that wind gets cold. There's a lot of uh, native Alaskans in this part of the state that carve ivory. And uh, I want to go check out one of the guys here that's supposed to be pretty good at it. Hi, Andrew. Hey, this is my son, Nathan. Nathan? Hi. How you doing, buddy? Good. Good. Oh my, look at this. Big old walrus tusks and the skull right there. You like the Got the molars. Oh, smaller female. Oh, wow. This is a fossilized skull. Oh, yeah. 
Wow. Is this the foss more fossilized? Yep. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, you can't sell it unless you're a native Alaskan, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Sell it raw or can you? You can't sell it raw. It has to be worked by a native. When we harvest them or you find them on the beach, mm -hmm. you have to get these tusks tagged by somebody who's a oh. walrus tusk tagger, you know? Okay. There's a few in town. Ooh, look at you. that. Oh, those are snap. <laughs> well, that's a nice color in that. Yeah. I tell you what, if you got some time and want to send some of this fossilized ivory. You, you'd like to try it? Yeah. All those. Come on, work faster. Work faster. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's got a great shine. So they've got a couple pieces of yellow sea glass they're putting on the bottom of the fossilized walrus ivory. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Perfect gift for Becca. <laughs> Stick on. Oh, that. these are the pop sockets, yes, right? Sir. These are ivory pop sockets. That is so sweet. Oh, thank you very much. This is so nice. It's really nice to meet you. Come on. Oh, that was so much fun to see their workshop. They were just wonderful people. If you'd like to see more of their crafts or buy some of their jewelry, I'll put a link to their website below. Hey, uh, Nathan, would you like to go dog sledding? Husky puppy. Well, you guys got a little bit of snow in your yard. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, guys, we're here at Deja Vu Kennels, and we're going to do a little dog mushing. Oh, right Sarah. Over. Sarah, Luke. Luke. Great. Nice yeah. to meet you. And when I was, I like this. I yeah. Uh, the longest I've been here, I can stay down, but I'm There you go. Yeah, and now you'll be next one. Stop it in really good. There you go. No. These dogs are excited. They're ready to pull. Poor little guy. Go, no biting! No biting! Bite! Go for it! Oh, I put puppies in you now! <laughs> this little white one really Too likes your rub. No. They're swarming him! <laughs> Too cute. You sneak out before the puppies come out. Woo. Those guys are pretty cute. cute. Oh, wow. oh my goodness, look at this snowdrift. Well, thank you so much for taking us out here. It's, we had an absolute ball. Awesome. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice you too. To oh. Hey, Nathan, was that fun? Huh? Do you want me to get you 15 sled dog puppies? Yes. Too bad. Thank you. Hi. We're going to get a stuffed caribou for Jacob and, uh, we're getting this for mama. All right. Mama's making out like a bandit. Yeah? Uh, Those are pretty nice, huh? You like, this you like this one? There we go. We got a red fox fur hat for Tommy, made right here in Nome. Yeah, that's right. Should we go to Milano's, get some dinner? Thank you. Um, good to see you. 
I'll tell you what, Nome is really growing on me. I like this town a lot. Oh, so oh the best are the thin mitts. I am so sorry. We don't need a bag. We, we just need more self-discipline. Well, we're gonna bring back a bunch of king crabs with us, so we need some Alaskan luggage. This is the luggage of Alaska right there. There you go. One for you, one for me. Hey, you like dog? Oh. Well, guys, this has been fun, but it's late. I gotta get this boy to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I don't know about you, Nathan, but I want to go back to Pingo's and get some breakfast. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks oh, so that much. looks beautiful. Nathan, you like your food? <laughs> You're filling up, huh? Bye bye. The gun is gone. My gun is falling off. Look at that! Aha! Woo! High five! I can't believe how quickly things get buried in these snow drifts. Woo! Welcome to the Arctic. I can barely see that sticking through the snow. Look at all the target tracks. Look, there's two out there on the ice. All right, they start shooting. They're getting running away. Start shooting. All right, there we go. Okay. There are two targets. We're fighting each other. I just shot them both. Should we go head back? Yeah. All right. <sighs> this thing is so full of tarm again. Oh, that was heavy. Those are some super plump tarm again. Oh. Drew's friend Jonathan has a bunch of crabs for us, and we're going to take them home on the plane. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can bring crabs on the plane. If you call them a service crab, you can bring them on as a carry-on. Getting one some snow. You want some ptarmigan? Sure. Well, check this out. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I did get. I haven't had a chance to pluck them yet. Oh no, no. no. Oh, yeah, I got five, six. They're big. Quite a bit of salmon. Oh, smoked salmon. Oh, absolutely. Yes. See here. That's why they're gone. for up to three days uh, last night so they would, wouldn't sleep that's what i was told okay, just put that over there hi kg hey sean thank you so much all right our plane's leaving in a few hours buddy i think it's time to pack it up yeah oh, man yeah i like how it's gotta how about this, Nathan? Wow. 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 Wow.
Back to the door, and I'll give some hugs. Yay! Yeah! Oh, yeah! oh, we had such an amazing time. We ended up inviting over tons of family, having an enormous feast with king crab and ptarmigan, and it was absolutely wonderful. And if you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming it, make sure to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. If you like that video, make sure to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And if you want to see our newest adventures, make sure to click subscribe so you'll get notifications.